Hey everyone, welcome back to another Sims 4 YouTube video. Today we are doing episode 7 of the Black Widow Challenge and today we actually do need to get my sim married because last week we did more of a scouting video and started looking for kind of the remaining lineup of this challenge. So today we actually need to get her married. We need to do some killing or killings. We need to get a victim or victims. So yeah, let's get into today's Let's Play. Okay, so it is the morning on Friday. Victor just went to work and Veronica's making breakfast, but I did want to start today off with last week we had a bit of an issue with one of her boyfriends does not have a job, nor does he have a house. And I can't have that. We can't be falling down. We gotta be going up. So I gotta go and meet him today and let him know that it's not gonna work out. And um, also hopefully I can get Thank you, because she is level like eight or nine of the cooking skill. Anyways, we also need to get Jeffrey and her to get together as well. And speaking of Jeffrey, what are you doing? Do you want to go out on a date? This is literally perfect. Although she just literally cooked her breakfast, but I guess we can go to this coffee place. All right, but the number one thing we got to do today is, is um, get my sim married. So we've got to do that. But I also, oh, they can have their first kiss. Oh, Jeffrey didn't like that knock knock joke I gave, but they're having their first kiss. Oh, here we go, ask to be boyfriend. So you can have more than one boyfriend in the game because she's got two boyfriends, three now. She's got three boyfriends. I think that's the most I've ever had my Sim have in one game. How is she keeping track of all of these boyfriends she's got? Talk about marriage. Like I know Jeffrey that you're married, but it doesn't matter. Cause I think I convinced him, I can convince Jeffrey to leave Nancy. They just don't have enough friendly level. I gotta get that up. Like that's gotta be a must. Well, this is good that they're talking and actually going out on a date. Definitely saves me. Can actually sit down and actually have like a proper date. Convinced to leave spouse. I wanna kind of wait on that. Should we just have her get married to Jeffrey and then she can leave Victor and then leave that other dude? Judith? Hold on. Hopefully my sim keeps it civil because that could be your future wife walking by. Oh my God. If I have one more screaming sim trying to attempt to meet Judith Ward, I'm gonna lose it. I kind of feel bad now everyone's freaking out. Well, um, we'll go ahead and convince Jeffrey to leave his wife because that's the most sane thing to do. I think we're gonna go for Jeffrey next. He's got money. Victor doesn't. You gonna, you gonna leave Jeffrey? You gonna leave? Did he leave? He did, he did, he left her, he left her. We can't propose yet because we don't have enough friend level, but we can work on that. Well, they are cloud gazing together, which isn't exactly stargazing, but I'll, I'll let it slide. They can cloud gaze, work on their friendship. Look at how far that bar has moved up now. I find it really funny because we had a really like good romantic thing. She had a good romantic thing going on with Jeffrey and just, it was always the, <gasps> There's no way. He proposed. Oh, we've got to do, we've got to, we've got to do this. I think I've only had that happen once in my gameplay of them just doing the autonomy like proposal thing. That's just so sweet. So sweet. Now we got to break it off with the other two. But before that, my Sims got to go to the bathroom. Oh, and he also asked us to move in with him. Yes, I would love that. Move out and then I'll have, oh wait. I'll have these two move in with Victor. Also gonna take my money with me. And when I said money, I said all of it. I am not playing to be nice. All right, well, look at this real estate, guys. Look at this. This is a land grab like house in Oasis Springs. We all should know this, but I wanna see how much it is. 193,000. I think, honestly, that might be more than the last house we were at with the one in Windenburg. I just don't know how to say their last name. Yeah, no, she's got to go to the bathroom. And I tried to do that. And then Jeffrey was like, do you want to move in? And it's not like I could say no. Oh, and there's a heat wave in Oasis Springs. That's not, that's not lovely. Okay, well, what we need to do now is I think I'm going to go back to Victor's house and break up 
with him. Here he is. I gotta go into, yeah, break up. Here we go. So they're now breaking up. Victor is heartbroken, as you can probably understand, because, you know, he, we basically broke his family up. And um, I, I do not feel bad at all. So the next person we gotta go to is, I don't even know how to say his name. It's like Volkov, that werewolf, who I probably shouldn't have even interacted with, but I thought he had money. He did not. All right, it's time for round two right now. Yeah, or no, Christopher. It's Christopher Volkov, which is, and he's actually married. Oh, we did know that. Jeffrey's gonna be so confused when a werewolf shows up to his house. There he is. You are not going to be happy. Break up. Not happy. But honestly, he shouldn't have even been dating my sim if he had a wife. So a shame on you, Christopher. Shame on you. All right. Well, that's it. Both of her lovers are now ex-lovers. Also, I'm going to have her cook some dinner. She's got to work on that skill. But what I do care about is a wedding. So let I'm going to go ahead and make that event and um, while she's cooking. And I'll be back with all the details. Okay, well, we've got the wedding set. I set it for tomorrow at 11 a.m. We've got some special guests that we'll be making. You guys will just have to wait till the wedding to see who is coming. But she did make dinner, which is good. I don't know where Jeffrey is. Oh, he is asleep. She's like a mix of like sad and happy. Well, I don't know if Jeffrey's got a job. I think he's, yeah, he has, he's a detective. Oh. That is great for us. It's off to a great start. They're already sleeping in separate bedrooms. All right, well, I will see you guys for the wedding tomorrow. And then I guess we'll go from there. So their wedding is starting soon. I did have her make some breakfast, but I think for our next, it's not suspect, our next victim, I talked about it in last week's episode where I think we might hit up, where did he go? Okay, we gotta go to the wedding. It was a Bajorn, Bajorn, something like that. It was the same, it's the guy who lives on that Windenburg Island that's like next to Jacquois' old house. So this is her wedding dress and I thought it looked good. This guy right here, anyways. This is her wedding dress. I thought it was a foreshadow for Jeffrey to see what's happening and that is death because he's gonna die probably involved with a lot of blood. You know, um, so the dress is kind of a, you know, a foreshadow for his future. Um, but they can go take their seats. Just give us a second to get everyone involved. We got some familiar faces. We got Nancy here. We got Max. We've got Panya, which I don't even know why he's still involved. We got Victor here today too. Umber here as well. Malcolm Landgrab. We've got Hugo. Jacquois, her ex-husband that came back from the dead. I do not know how. But, you know, just smile through the pain. And we got Diego here as well. So, you know, definitely an interesting lineup today. It honestly kind of, this scene reminds me of that one Taylor Swift lyric where it's like, I think I've seen this film before. Because we did this same event, pro a l different wedding dress, I think. But it was practically the same. Um, we'll go ahead and have them exchange their vows. And we also got Billy. Remember Billy? She was a kid. We've grown up with her. She's been at every wedding since the beginning of it. Now she's a teenager and she's right in front of my camera shot for Jeffrey and Veronica. It's like, they're all like, listen, you know, you need to get, this is what your fifth husband and you, you still can't get it together. Billy's tired of it. She looks like she's done with all these weddings. I don't blame her. I'm tired of it too. It takes them so long to get married like forever. I don't know whether they're crying or they're happy. My plan is to get to know Bajorn a little bit more today with my sim. You know, once she's married, I don't care, you know, what she does. We just need them to be married and then she can move on. All right, well, they are married. They can walk down the aisle together or up, I guess. Why is everyone cursing? Why is everyone mad? Like, are you mad because this is my Sims fifth wedding and you're tired of having to go to these events? We can serve them all food, hopefully time to eat. You know, I will say, I think wedding stories got a little bit better. Oh, Bajorn, thank for coming. How is Jeffrey parenting level one and he's got a whole 
young adult. This is his kid. Great vine gossip. We need to build up the conversation with Bajorn. Right in day. Just really talk him up to get a better friend level. I need to figure out, do you have a job? Ask about career. They were kind of flirting for there a minute. I thought Jeffrey was going to be mad. She's literally sitting right next to her husband while she's flirting with another man. I shouldn't be surprised at this point. We should just expect the worst from Veronica at this point. She's got no morals. Oh, Okay, he's an agent handler at Sims. Wait a minute. He's in the same career as Jeffrey. He's just on level three and Jeffrey's at level five. That's actually quite funny. Maybe I can flirt with Bajorn. My Sim can flirt with him. Maybe like a bold pickup pickup line. I mean, at this point, I think we've shown everyone that, you know, they're married, they they get along. I don't think it would hurt if Veronica, you know, looks for her new new guy. Look, he's mad. Oh, he's jealous. He's mad. Oh no. He is flirty though. I don't want to get her too flirty because they are at her wedding. Oh, and now she's angry because she's got infuriating ex. She's already mad with him. Did they lose anything? No, they haven't. All right, well, I have my Sims flirting with Bajorn again. At this point, I don't really care because the wedding's kind of over anyways. Why is Jack Wall crying? Why are you crying? Oh, look at how cute that is. Oh, she's got an atrocious reputation. People are now starting to catch on to her about what she's doing. Okay, we're gonna ask Bajorn to stargaze and hopefully that helps them. Here she goes. At least Bajorn likes us. He said, we are so fun. I think Jeffrey left. I don't even think he's at his own wedding. I don't really feel bad for him because like the land grabs are kind of like a menace in The Sims. I think they can have their first kiss though. Yeah, I think they're gonna have their first kiss. They're like the only two at this wedding place. There we go. So once she's boyfriend and girlfriend with Bush, oh, Jeffrey is still here. Oh, he's not happy. He did not like that at all. I thought he left. I thought he was gone. Still wouldn't have stopped me, but asked to be boyfriend. There we go. Yeah, okay. So we've got our next victim right here, but we still need to make Jeffrey a victim. And I think with that, we should probably go back home because I don't want to kill him in front of Bajorn. So, all right. Well, I'm going to send these two lovebirds or not. I shouldn't say lovebirds back home. And then, um, yeah, Jeffrey can um, join the other ex-husbands. I put him outside for this one, but I am going to pause it just to see what our options are. Extreme violence. Because we got to take him out because we, we found our sim someone else to be with, which is Bajorn. So we need to move a little quickly because last episode, you know, I did kind of scout around. So we got to figure out what we're going to do. We can throw a helicopter at Jeffrey. I'm not going to do that, but that does seem pretty cool. I guess we could just stab its neck. We can do that. So they now despise each other, which I'm not shocked about. Oh my God. Some of these deaths are pretty brutal, but at least he's gone. Yeah, and then what I'm gonna need you to do is go clean yourself up, please, because I cannot have any suspects here. I think it would only make sense maybe to spice things up if we called the cops, because like he is a cop himself, so it kind of makes sense if we would, you know, have the cops at the house, or he's really a detective. So we've got Cooper here. I mean, I don't know if we could get arrested, but now, oh, we've got a Black Widow thing on here. Have a Sim outlive five spouses. I'm not really sure. I guess this is a crime scene, but I do want her to introduce herself to, oh my, why are you holding the knife? That is the dumbest thing you could have done, Veronica. The knife, I can't even speak. I'm floored. You could have got arrested, Veronica. And he's just throwing his gun around. Well, we've got to, I guess, engrave this. Wish you were here. Can't wait to see you. We can do that one. Okay, we'll put this one in our inventory. This is Jeffrey. We've got five now, which is great. I'll go ahead and remove these. And then we can mop this. And it is prank day today. I don't know why the news people are still here. You can go home now. There's nothing to see. All right, well, good news is we've got another victim in our inventory. The next thing we gotta do is get Veronica with Bajorn, but I think we'll wait till next episode to do that. And maybe we can do 
some more scouting. And with that, that is the end of today's episode of the Black Widow Challenge. I think we did good. Hopefully we're able to actually have Veronica make a introduction to Judith because I cannot deal with the celebrity introductions. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and comment your favorite part about this challenge and have you played the Black Widow Challenge or does this entice you to play it? Because it's honestly quite fun. If you're running out of ideas in The Sims to do like storyline wise, and you haven't done the Black Widow Challenge, I would highly recommend doing it. Also, thank you so much for 828 subscribers. As you all know, my one year anniversary is coming up on YouTube. It's April 6th and we are 172 subscribers away from 1,000. So if you wanna join in on all the fun that we have on this channel, when it comes to mod reviews, let's plays and so much more, please hit that subscribe button. And with that, I will see you all on Friday. Mm -hmm.